YouTube is testing a new feature which lets you add product tags inside YouTube videos. LinkedIn brings swipe up feature inside stories. WhatsApp extends the deadline and offers further explanation to its recent privacy policy updates. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News. Welcome, I'm Nachi Lazarus and this is the show that brings you the top 5 digital and social media news in 5 minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news is about WhatsApp. Last couple of weeks, WhatsApp has been in the news about its recent privacy policy updates and also leading to an incredible growth in other messaging apps like Signal and Telegram because people are starting to look for other options outside WhatsApp. But last week, WhatsApp came up with multiple explanations. They were tweeting and they were releasing FAQs and blogs and all the uh, explanations about the privacy updates and what it means. So I wanted to bring a couple of things to your notice. For example, two things that I want to bring to your notice. One is the FAQ section which says uh, we want to be clear that the recent terms and privacy policy updates do not affect personal messages. The changes are related to optional business features on WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is saying that this whole thing is about business interaction and not private uh, interaction and uh, personal privacy does not uh, change in any way and so on and they've uh, put together infographics they've given multiple explanations and uh, importantly they've also extended the deadline for accepting these terms from February to May and uh, and the second important thing I want you to notice is uh, it says they all the explanations say that the group's privacy does not change in any way groups remain private so I will link to uh, all these articles in the show notes to check it out. Hey, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so that you will know when we upload new videos. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's get back to our news item. Our next news is about Google. Google announced last week that they have completed the acquisition of Fitbit. Uh, if you are in any way interested in smartwatches that track your movement, then you probably heard of Fitbit. Fitbit is uh, one of the leading uh, smartwatches that uh, tracks health and fitness and well-being. Now it's part of Google. Google has been in the process of acquisition for quite some time, but now uh, the announcement comes that it has been complete. And Google also says that they are planning to release uh, advanced features in the next version of Fitbit with ECG app and other advanced health features. So the fitness smartwatch space is getting very interesting with the new Apple Watch and now this acquisition by Google. Our next big news is from Twitter. Last week, Twitter released a strategic planning guide for 2021. Usually Twitter releases a month on month planning, uh, you know, tips and then calendar and so on. But now they have released a strategic guide and it is an in-depth guide with more than 100 pages and it talks about templates, there are worksheets, uh, there are tips and uh, very interesting insights uh, including uh, tips on using things like website cards and how to write copy and call to action and various other elements. So uh, if you use Twitter actively as a nonprofit or a ministry, then this is definitely a resource that you do not want to miss. I will link to it in the show notes. Do check it out. Our next news is from YouTube and it's a big one. YouTube has officially announced that it has started testing product tags inside YouTube videos which means uh, you will soon be able to link to a product or a web link when you mention that on a YouTube video. Now imagine that YouTube is a big search engine and more than being a search engine, YouTube is a unique social media platform where people come looking for a video uh, with an intent. What we mean by the word intent is people have a specific need. So they search for it, then they find the video, and they watch it and then they take an action. So typically that's the uh, cycle of the audience behavior in uh, YouTube. That is why it makes the uh, platform so unique. So adding an uh, ability to tag a product or a link out to a website 
uh, adds a whole new dimension to uh, watching videos on YouTube. So it could really uh, trigger a big e-commerce cycle. And in the case of nonprofits and ministries, it could trigger a donation cycle in a very unique way. So a very interesting news, definitely something to watch out for. Our final news of this week is from LinkedIn. LinkedIn announced last week that they are adding the swipe up feature to LinkedIn stories. And uh, they also mentioned that there are a couple of conditions and they say the swipe up feature is only available to LinkedIn pages. And the second is uh, it's available to members who have at least 5,000 connections or followers and the follow button as the primary action on their profile instead of the connect button. So if you go see a follow button on your profile or uh, you fulfill one of these conditions, then you might be able to add a swipe up feature to your LinkedIn stories. That's all I have for you this week. But if you'd like to continue learning about digital and social media, then you definitely want to check out this playlist that has answers to some of the interesting digital and social media questions from leaders of nonprofit churches and ministries, leaders like you.